family. I am Lisa May. Welcome to Becoming a True Worshipper, season two. Season two. A lot of changes. Yes, I've moved from just being on audio. I'm now in front of the camera. Uh, please pray for me. Please pray for me. God is still moving me out of my comfort zone and I am choosing every day I'm still choosing to follow him to to do his will for my life to seek his will and to do his will so how have you been doing how have you been doing I am so excited to share this journey with you. I'm so excited for what God is doing, will be doing in this season of the podcast. And I'm very excited that you are going to be coming along with me on this journey. All right, so just to remind you what this podcast is all about, it's about us discovering together and exploring the different perspectives and expressions of a true worship, true worship in an effort to help us on our own journeys of becoming a true worshiper. So we are going to be learning and the, the, uh, the standard or the basis or the filter that we are going to sift these information through it's the word of god we're not just going to hear different perspectives and 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 um you know and just accept it we're going to filter it through the word of god in an effort to help us on our own journeys to become who god wants us to be hallelujah the kind of worshipers that God says he's seeking after, he's looking for. I want to become that type of worshiper. And it is God who will define and keep on defining who a true worshiper is. Hallelujah. So it is where we decide every day to move from where we are in our lives, where we are, in our thinking, where we are culturally, where we are in our expressions to where God wants us to be. Yes. It's deciding every day to move from where we are to where God wants us to be. So in the first season, I shared a bit of my worship journey, the seasons that I've gone through good and bad you know i've shared that with you in season one so you can go and check it out um, check out the episodes that uh we covered in season one uh, i didn't only just talk about myself i promise i didn't only just talk about myself for those of you who are new to the podcast um you will get to know me on season one, but we also covered some other topics like what is worship? Yes, and we also covered true worship. What is worship and true and false worship? 
Then we covered other topics like as a man think it. And then we had one called identity crisis. And another topic we covered was knowing your area, connecting to purpose. Mm -hmm. And then another one was old habits die hard. So please go and check out the episodes and share them with your family and friends if they bless you. Only if they bless you. And if you believe they will bless someone else, then please feel free to share it with your family and your friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So welcome again to season two. Season two. Season two. Oh, Lord. This is only God. <laughs> Season two. We're going to continue to explore the different perspectives of true worship. We want to also look at the different expressions of praise and worship. We want to also uh, have persons coming on to share their journeys, their worship journeys share the different seasons of their lives and what they have learned in those seasons and how the lessons of those seasons are helping them to become who God wants them to be. So I believe by the grace of God, we are going to have a wonderful season, a wonderful season. But as we are approaching or as you are approaching this season of your life, what are some of the lessons that you have learned? You know, what is God saying to us in this season? What is God saying to us in this season? We are still at the beginning uh, of, the, of 2024. Um, what is God saying to us or to you in this season. Well, let me share the word God gave me coming to the end of 2023. And I believe this is what God is impressing on my heart. I keep on getting this scripture. And the other day, you know, somebody said to me, Pastor, you need to be reading this scripture. This is what God is saying. And it just confirmed what I believe God was also saying to me and keeps on saying to me. Um, he brought me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, from verses 15 to 19. You can read the entire chapter, but these chapters were the ones that spoke loudest to me. Isaiah 43, verses 15 to 19, and it reads, I am the Lord. I am the Lord, your Holy One the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinguished. They are quenched like a wick. Verse 18. Do not remember the former things. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness. Oh, hallelujah. These verses are this chapter really spoke to me during a time last year when I was feeling so low. I just needed to hear from God that he was with me in this season. That season, I was going through a lot of testing. You know, it was the enemy was coming in like a flood. 
And I was feeling so overwhelmed in that season. And he sent me in Isaiah 43. And he said to me, don't remember the former things. Don't consider the things of old. You know, God is always doing new things in our lives. He's always doing new things in our lives. Even if we're going through or we're entering into a season where it's a wilderness season, God says that he will provide. He says that he will make a road in the wilderness. So it doesn't matter what season we're entering into. I want to share these three keys that I believe will help us even as we approach the new seasons and different seasons in our lives. The three keys that I learned, number one, you need to know and understand the season that you're in. You need to know and understand the season that you're in. First Chronicle 12 verse 32 says, the sons of Issachar, who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. They not only had understanding of the times, but they knew what was to be done. So we need to also understand, know first, that I'm in the season, whether it is a season of sowing and what is required in the season of sowing. Because if I'm in a season where I'm supposed to be sowing, then I should not be expecting to be reaping. I should be sowing. I should be sowing. I should be sowing. Hallelujah. So we need to know and understand the seasons that we are in. And the next key is that we need to take the lessons from past seasons. We need to take the lessons from past seasons, all that we learned as we were going through, whether it be the season of plenty or season of lack, there were lessons. Because God doesn't bring us to anything, even if it was our own decisions that brought us to that season, there are still lessons for us to learn. There are still uh, takeaways from that season. What did I do wrong? What did I do right? So take the lessons from the past seasons. But guess what? Leave the baggages behind. Take the lessons into your current season, into your new season. But leave the baggages behind. Leave the baggages of the past season in the past season. Don't take them with you into this new season. Don't take the baggages of the past season into your new season. Why? Because it's going to weigh you down. Leave it. Forget the former things. Do not remember the former things. Leave them in, the, in that season that you have left. Let them stay there. And the next key uh, that I would like to share with you as you are approaching this season or as you're in this new season is to always seek the will of God. Always seek the will of God in all that you do. Seek God's will and he will direct your path. He will direct your path. And it's not only seeking the will of God, but more importantly, we need to do the will of God. Because we can hear the will of God, but sometimes we choose not to do the will of God. But it is in the will of God. It is in the doing. It is in the willingness and obedience that we eat the good of the land. It's when we are willing plus obedient that we will experience or that that's when God will add all these things to our lives. 
These things, I remember saying that to you in past episodes, these things are the things needed for this season. The things that God knows we need to take us through this season. Hallelujah. So that's my, my, um, my sharing with you as you, you know, go through or you're entering into this, entering this season, that no matter what you are going to face, remember that God is with you in the season. That, that may be key for key number four. God is with you in the season. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. God is with you in the season. In this season, God is with you. He will never leave you and he will never forsake you. All you need to do is call upon his name. Call on him. Call him, call him. He is our present help. He is our present help. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm looking forward to being with you, uh, sharing, you know, uh, becoming together. You know, I'm still on my journey. And as we learn together, I hope our lives will be changed for the better with the information that we gather or get or we receive on this podcast. But can we pray together? I'm just going to close now with prayer. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the name that is above every other name. Thank you for allowing us another opportunity, God, to continue our journeys to becoming who you want us to be, true worshipers, true worshipers. Father, I pray that you will release the grace for this season, the grace for this season. May we choose your will May we choose your will for our lives, knowing that it is only in your will, God Almighty, that we will find true peace, true joy, true contentment. Hallelujah. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you that you will never give us more than we can bear, almighty God. Thank you that you are always with us. And God, you have everything in control. God almighty, we commit this season of our lives to you, almighty God. And we ask you, Lord God, to let your will be done. Let your kingdom come. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It was good to be with you. I hope I will see you again in the next episode. Until then, be blessed. spirit and his worshippers must worship him in spirit and in truth God is a spirit and his worshippers must worship him in spirit and in truth I want to be a true worshipper true worshipper that worships God in spirit and in 
worshiper. 